How do you debug a voice agent when something goes wrong? Normally you'd have to jump between multiple dashboards, terminals, and logs. Now you get everything in one place. Transcripts, traces, logs, all synchronized with the recorded audio. If you've built an AI agent, you know debugging is hard. When something goes wrong, you need to check your LLM provider's dashboard for model requests, your transcription service for what was actually said, your own server logs for errors, and you're trying to match timestamps across all of them, hoping that you can piece together what actually happened. Voice agents make this even harder. Unlike text apps where a few extra milliseconds of latency might go unnoticed, live conversations need tight timing. When your agent takes too long to respond or it cuts someone off, the experience breaks immediately. The problem is finding the source. Was it the model, the transcription, the network, turn detection, all of it? And so this requires stitching together data from across your entire pipeline. Most tools make you do that stitching yourself. Agent observability changes that. It's a new feature in the LiveKit Cloud dashboard that gives you a synchronized view of everything that happened during an agent session. Audio playback, transcripts, traces showing every function call and model request, logs from across your entire stack, all aligned to the same timeline. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. I'll walk you through a real session so that you can see how agent observability helps you find the problems fast. So we'll start out here in the LiveKit Cloud dashboard. If you're new, you can sign up for a free account using the link in the video description, no credit card required. First, we're gonna navigate over to Sessions, and then we can pick any session and we can see details for that session. And by default, we're gonna see the Session Analytics tab, which shows high-level stats like uh, room details, duration, bandwidth usage, connection quality, etc. At the top though, you'll see two tabs, Session Analytics and Agent Insights. Let's click on Agent Insights. So at the top here, we see the audio player with playback controls so we can play, skip, pause, all the good stuff. And then below that, we see the audio waveform. So we can see when speech occurred. And of course we have the playhead as well that we can drag across the timeline. Now above the waveform, you'll see three different tabs, Transcript, Trace, and Logs. We're gonna start here with the transcript tab that we're already on. And the transcript view shows the conversation timeline. You can see exactly what was said, when it was said, and who said it. And each message is timestamped and aligned with the audio playback. And as we scroll through here, you can see uh, inline alerts highlighting important events, agent handoffs uh, showing when control was passed from one agent to another, tasks handoffs show when an agent moved to a different task, and tool calls show when your agent executed a function all right here displayed in the transcript when they occurred. And the really cool thing is you can click on any one of these and it will automatically jump to that point in the timeline. And we get all these extra details here, all the attributes and the details that were included with this portion of our transcript. We also see transcript confidence scores right here in line for each user message. And this helps you understand how certain the transcript was about uh, what the user said. And as we scrub through the audio, we can see that the transcript timeline keeps up with us. So very useful. And again, we can click on any one of these and we can see the details here on the side as well. Let's go ahead and listen to a bit of this and see what exactly happened. Hello, thank you for joining the interview today. My name is Alex and I'll be your interviewer. To start, could you please introduce yourself and let me know your name? Hey Alex, I'm David. All right, well, that's enough. Hey, really quick, if this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more LiveKit videos. So now let's move over to the Traces tab. The Trace tab shows what happened under the hood for each turn in the conversation. For each agent response, you'll see a node showing a full uh, request and response. And this includes your LLM calls, ETS requests, end of turn detection, and any tool calls your agent made. So we can click on these, again, see those attributes. And then here's the agent turn, and we can see all the things that it did. Here's the LLM node details. Here's the TTS node details. And when the agent was speaking. If we go further in this uh, trace, we can see there were some errors here. So we can click on those and see exactly what happened. Click view trace and it brings us to that. And here we can see all of the error details. 
So this is where you'll find the problems. If the model generated something unexpected, you can click right into here and see the details. We can drill into the attributes and we can see exactly uh, what was uh, prompted and what the response was. So let's move over into the logs tab now. And so this tab shows us information, errors, warnings, and debug messages from across your entire stack. So you'll see logs from your agent code, the uh, media server, and the client. Each log entry is timestamped and synchronized to the playback timeline. When we click on the logs, again, we have these extra details. Uh, and we can see all of the uh, issues. This was a warning. And we can drill in to see exactly what is going on here. So errors from your agent code will appear here. Network issues from the media server will appear here. Uh, client connection problems, again, will appear here. And this is powerful because you can see logs from all three sources at the same time. And if the client disconnected, you can see if the media server noticed it too. And so together, these three views give you complete visibility. Transcript shows you what was said, traces show you what the agent did, and logs show you what went wrong. And everything is synchronized, again, to that same shared timeline. Click anywhere in the timeline, and all three views will update to show you what was happening at that exact moment. Now, if you need a copy of your data, you can download the data. So that will download the audio recording, the transcript, and the logs. And so this is useful if you need to share a session with your team or keep a record for compliance. The data is retained for 30 days by default. So if you need it longer, download it before it expires. Agent observability is available in Agent SDK version 1.3 and later. Now your privacy is very important to us. So agent observability is optional and disabled by default. It can be controlled at the project level or at the individual agent level. To enable it, go over into settings and then scroll down to data and privacy. And then you'll see agent observability and click enabled. Once it's enabled, every session will have observability data. Open any session in your dashboard, click the agent insights tab, and you'll see everything that we just walked through. And I'm happy to announce that agent observability is free for all users until the end of this year, December 2025. So agent observability, it removes the guesswork from debugging voice agents. Instead of jumping between multiple dashboards and trying to match timestamps, you get everything in one place synchronized to the same timeline. You can see everything at the same time, hear the audio while reading the transcript, you can see the traces while listening to the response, and you can check the logs while scrubbing through the timeline. This works whether you're debugging slow responses, investigating why an agent interrupted a user, figuring out why a tool call failed, or optimizing latency across your pipeline. And because LiveKit handles the full voice AI stack, we know everything that happened. We know uh, what your agent was configured to do. We know what data was sent and received. And we know the end-to-end -end latency across the LiveKit cloud network. And that's information that you can't get by piecing together data from multiple providers. So the fastest way to understand what your agent is doing is to see it in action, deploy an agent, open a session, and click the Agent Insights tab. And if you want to give it a try, again, the link is in the video description. And if you observe something interesting with agent observability, I'd love to hear about it. If you run into any issues, you have any questions, or you just want to share some feedback, please join our community Slack channel. Link is in the video description. And if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this.